just came back from Pink Taco in Times Square. And you know how like sometimes your eyes are bigger than your stomach? So I had ordered a second drink, right? Spicy margarita. And I was only able to take a few sips and I was just like, yo, I'm feeling this shit. This is just off of my second drink. A couple sips off of my second drink. So I'm asking the server, like, can I get it to go? Because many of the restaurants across New York City are still operating as if it's like it's like in the middle of COVID, right? Where during COVID, they would give you a to-go cup for your drinks, right? They actually would sell drinks to go. And then the guy, he was like, well, I can't give you a cup. And then he came back with this. <laughs> so this is a drink, you guys. And it has like jalapeno pills in it. Check this out. But it is literally, yo, it is spicy. Can y'all see that? Spicy, spicy, spicy. And it is delicious. Because I like spicy things. Like, I like ginger. I just like spice. That's just my taste buds. My dad, he likes spicy things. Oh, I just kind of inherited it from my father. I'm feeling it. Definitely feeling it. So, in this video, I want to show you guys real quick. Oh, I can't put that there. Yeah. I'm going to show you real quick some uh, new shoes that I got from Doc Martens. And just, just when I thought that I kind of grew out of my taste, because I felt like I've purchased so many Doc Martens to the point where it's like, what new shoes they have, right? I'm subscribed to the newsletter, so they send me like regular um, updates with new releases they have and for the past several weeks I haven't really been feeling what they've been putting out I'm just like nah 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 they got shoes with like flower print on it not my taste right and then something told me just to go to their store and I went to the store I think it was in um Harold Square location I went there the other day and check it out, y'all. Check, 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 check. I got these. And funny enough, when I first saw these, I'm just like, wait, is this my type? I think they had like two different colors. So they got this color, which is brown, and then they had another color. Um, what was the other color? Was it black? I don't remember, but I love the way it looked on my foot, y'all. So I had to get it. And then I'm going to show you guys another pair that I got. Aren't these just like the cutest, cutest little thing? And the guy who assisted me with checkout, he was trying to sell me like the protectant that goes with it, right? And I'm like, wait, I think I already purchased that before. So no need for it, but yes, I'm loving the color. I'm loving the way these fell on my feet. And by the way, these are Happy Socks. <laughs> well, these socks come from this store called Happy, which I recently learned they have two locations. So they have one in Soho. Um, that's the first location I stumbled across after going to this um store in Soho. What is it called? It's evading my memory. And the one with the penis shaped waffles and vagina shaped waffles. Wood wood something. I forget the name of it. But anyway. So yeah, as as I was like leaving that um on my, no on my way there, on my way to the waffle shop I stumbled across this sock store. So yeah, I love it. So when I was leaving, 
Doc Martens the other day, I learned that I look across the street and I'm just like, wait, they have a whole happy sock store right across the street from Doc Martens um, in Harold Square. So these are my new socks. I actually got five pairs. I want to see the other ones. I'll show you the other ones. But yes, I love the way these shoes feel on my feet. I love the way they look on my feet. Just all around sexiness. show y'all my socks. Hold on. I don't know how much they got in here, but it's like, it's spicy. And on top of that, it's like kind of potent. It's kind of strong. I don't know the alcohol content, like the volume, but girl feeling right. Girl feeling right. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, 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 mm. Actually, I'm off tomorrow. I'm going to this comedy show tomorrow. This comedian. She's not from New York City. I think she's from Atlanta. But I will be there tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so I love these. So let me show you all the second pair I got. The second pair I actually ordered from online. They had a pair in store, but like, as I already explained, I'm a type of consumer of shoes where I don't want to buy the pair that I try on in the store because nine times out of 10, the pair you try on in the store has been tried on by other people and it has some like little wear and tear on it. And I want to buy my shoes brand new, especially when I'm spending over $200 on it. Like these shoes, Kasha girl. How much did I pay for these? I don't even remember. I know the pair that I'm about to try on, I think were over $200, but these were 175, I think. Yeah, these were 175 out the door. So yeah, if you spend that much money on shoes, who the hell wanna buy some shoes that are scuffed up, you know, crinkled up, like any type of worn or tried on, like nah. And then funny enough that the clerks were looking at me like, seriously? Cause they'll go down and they get me my size and I try it on and I'd be like, can I get a fresh? Like after I try it on and I like it, I'd be like, I need a fresh, brand new, never worn, Never tamper with pear. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not buying it. I'm just not. And so that's what happened with these. But the second pair I'm about to show you guys, I love these. I'm going to show you in a minute. But he said those were the last pair that I tried on. I'm just like, so I ended up leaving. And then I'm like, wait a minute. I need to I need to get them. When I got to the Happy Stock store, let me show you all these. These socks. Hold on. Hold on. When I got to the Happy Stock store, I'm like, damn, I really love those shoes I just tried on. I'm like, let me just go ahead and order them. Because I love ordering. I think about ordering from Doc Martens on their website. Like, they are thorough. They are legit. Like, I literally just purchased. I went to the store, right, in Harrow Square. When was that? Not even a week ago. And the same day I placed my order for these shoes, because he told me that the ones I tried on the last pair, I didn't want to get those. Um, so I think the same day, like when I left, I called, I was like, I called back and I was just like, wait, let me speak to the guy that just helped me check out. <laughs> like I had to ask like, yo, which shoes I just tried on? He told me it was the last pair and he told me which one it was. So I went on their website immediately, yo, immediately. <laughs> 
and I ordered these. But I just like the turnaround time. It's a very quick turnaround. Like, it don't waste no time. And I like the packaging, like, unlike Macy's. I made a mistake of, like, I went to Macy's one time and I um, saw some shoes I like. And then I had the store clerk send the shoes, like, order the shoes for me. I sent it to my, um, my P.O. box. I don't like the way they package the shoes. Number one, it comes in a Macy's box. That's a big no-no. You don't do that. <laughs> Why you don't do that? Because people steal packages, yo. Hello. So I like that. Um, Y'all gonna see when I unveil these shoes. But Doc Martens, like, they do it different. They protect the sacredness, the sanctity of what you're purchasing so that other people are not aware of what it is that you're buying so they don't... Because you got postal workers be still and shit. That's just the truth of the matter. Anyway. So these are the socks that I got. Happy socks. I love it. I love it. I spent $94.60 on how many pairs? One, two, three, four, five. Five pairs of socks here. But listen, it was worth it. I love these. July 4th is coming up. Red, red, and blue. And then I got these. I like the yellow and the black, the contrast between the yellow and the black. Just beautiful. So these four, and of course the pair that I have on makes five. As you guys can see. Alright, so let's go ahead and unveil the shoes. I have a low tolerance. I'm not really a drinker like that. I'm not, surprisingly, many of y'all probably don't know, but I used to smoke. I stopped though. I used to smoke. My last time smoking was back in 2018. It's a little treat, a little, little fun fact for those who are watching who made it to this point in the video. Um, it's 2024, so it's been, what, six years since I smoked. But I started smoking back when I was 16 years old. Back in 2000. 2000. Right? I graduated 2002 from high school by the age of 18. So, yeah. I was 16 years old back in 2000. And I stopped smoking like in 2018. So, it's a minute. It's a minute, yo. But, yeah, I'm not really a, a drinker drinker like that. Like, I'll sip. Here and there, and I like like the little buzz. I like how it kind of takes like the little edge off, you know. That's about it. All right, let's see here. See, look at there. Look at Dot Martin's packaging. You would never know. You would never know. This comes from Doc Martin's because. They have their DBA listed here. They have their business name listed, which is not like the, no, not the DBA. The DBA is actually Doc Martens, right? But they have like their LLC name listed here. Um, so you wouldn't know. I love it. All right? It's kind of discreet. You don't know, right? It doesn't have a big logo, Doc Martens logo across the box like Macy's did. You know, I was so disgusted with Macy's because it looked like the box had been tampered with when I got it. When I finally got it, I'm just like, come on, Macy's. Of course, they're going to tamper with it because it's come from Macy's. And granted, uh, postal workers, they make it okay. They, you know, they work for the state, right? Or they actually work for the federal government. So they make okay, you know, salary, but still. 
crimes of opportunity. <laughs> Let's see here. So I like, you know, the way they package it because they put it in like this larger box here, right? And it's still like the shoe box, you know? But you have to get through the outer box first just to get to the shoe box. Let's do this. Let's do this. I want to see me take it out of the box. <laughs> yes, honey, yes. You see that? Brand new, never tried on. Okay, straight from the factory. Yes, honey. I love it. I love it. You know, really, what really attracted me to these shoes? The shape. Like, it has, like, this kind of rectangular, square um, toe. I don't know if you guys can really see it here. My camera and light setup doesn't really do any justice, but... That's what attracted me to it. I'm like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, size nine. And one thing I also like about Doc Bond is that the size that you get for one shoe is the size that you fit for all shoes of Doc Bond's. So. I love it. Yes, honey. I love it. I might wear these. No, I might wear these tomorrow, but I'm not really going wearing more stuff for my comedy show. I also like the sole of the shoe, like the heel part. The way it's designed. It's platform. And I didn't notice that it had two tags on it in the front and the back until I went online. When I tried it on this store, I didn't notice that um, it had a front tag like this right here and then a back tag. But yes, honey. Yes! Maybe the other one. Me, I'm just a perfectionist. It's just how I am. So, like living in New York City, a lot of the shoes, like you go to these shoe stores, you know, a lot of people didn't try those shoes on. And by the time you get to it, it's just like you see stickiness, you see creases in the shoe. Now, this is like leather, okay? You're paying good money for this shoe. You don't want to buy a shoe that has creases in it, has fingerprints on it. Like, come on, seriously. Who does that? <laughs> I don't even understand how, like, the clerks were looking at me like, something wrong with me because after I try on my shoes, I, like, I need a brand new pair in the same size. <laughs> with that being said, I feel like they should have a shoe for each size and each design designated just for trying on right they don't do that though the people actually buy the shoes that they try on and sometimes they have been trying on numerous of times damn that shit mm -mm. but yeah it's honey i love it which ones do y'all like i like both But I already have, funny enough, I already have, like, some shoes similar to these. 
Similar, but not the exact same. Now that I'm looking at these, these actually... Oh, wow. Yes, honey. You know what I need to do? I need to get me some skirts. I need to get some, like, nice pencil skirts or mini skirts. Yeah. Doc Martens never fail to satisfy. They never disappoint. All right, let me go. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hold on. So quick cheers. Toast. I doubt my finishes tonight. This shit is strong, y'all. Don't want to smell it. Straight jalapeno. That's all I smell. It's different. They had to squeeze a jalapeno to make some juice out of it. They had to.